Welcome to the Forge Bladesmiths. On today's episode, we will be tramming this mill. So to help me hopefully get that squared away, I went to the store and I picked up different thicknesses of shim stock. Let's see if this works. Check out these cool stamps I found. If you look at the top of that one, that date says 1492 to 1892. Let's go. So the two most important tools that you'll need is this. This here is a height gauge. And this arm that it's attached to is a magnetic flexible doodad uh, that has it has an on-off magnetic switch, so that way it sticks to things. All right, guys. So since this side is out 40 thou, if I loosen uh, this bolt and shove 20 thou of shim underneath. Theoretically, that should raise the head away, changing that from being the low or the high spot. So yell at me in the comments if I'm wrong. Guys, I'm an idiot. I was this entire time under the impression that my table was out 40 thou of an inch. Come take a look. So here's where I messed up. That is not in inches. I need to press this. This whole entire time, I spent about an hour now trying to shim here, which then throws off this side for no reason, because the entire time it was only about 10 thou out. Once I realized this, I then Took some shims out and got it to within about five or six thou, which I am totally okay with. That is way more accurate than what I'm gonna need this machine to be. Oh my gosh, guys. I just wanted you guys to know that you don't need an expensive piece of machinery like this mill. Before this, I was doing everything by hand and I'll also show you guys some of the techniques that I learned over the years. I'll have a picture of the most recent folding knife that I did, which was all by hand, it, there was no mill involved. That picture will be here. You guys can accomplish some amazing things without expensive pieces of equipment. I just have a mill to make things go a little bit faster, but if you take your time and you just, you really focus on bettering the, the minor details, which they do take a while, but once you get them down, you guys can achieve machine-like quality by hand. And it's something incredible. And I hope you guys will continue in this journey with me. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below in the comment section. In the next video, I'll be filming the milling process of the Damascus billet we have going. Well guys, thank you for following along. I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, I just wanted to thank everybody for your support. Have a great day.